Should you invest in S&P Global? Let's analyze it on growth shares. Before we begin, if you aren't familiar with the factors and metrics I use in this channel, I've made a separate video detailing everything to get you caught up. This analysis is divided into three factors, the business, the stock, and the price. When we've got the three factors graded, we combine them to get our final grade. Each of the three factors are given a grade from 0 to 99, with 50 to 59 being considered average. Pause this video if you need to better understand the numbers. Let's first look at the business. The business factor answers the question, do we think this is a good business to own? Here's the six metric grades that make up the business. And when we put them together, we get the company's business grade. Let's then look at the stock. The stock factor answers the question, will the stock grow enough in the future to justify an investment? Here's the four metric grades that make up the stock. And when we put them together, we get the company's stock grade. Let's then look at the price. The price factor answers the question, what is the most you should pay for the company? Here is the price grade and intrinsic value of the company. Do you want every grade from every company I've analyzed? Become a Patreon member and receive access to my spreadsheet, patreon.com forward slash growth shares. Let's put our three factors together and get our company's final grade. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.